getting on the road. About to uh, ride down uh, about an hour and a half from home to Brooklyn, Michigan to the MIS in Michigan International Speedway. Uh, they're having ARCA 200 race down there and also qualifying and um, for the trucks truck series that says race tomorrow spring cup cars they've got a race Sunday 400 mile race and uh, I've been down here a few times to see it they haven't come in a couple years to see it one thing I did want to bring up is even though I'm traveling out of town I still like to do what I can to be prepared. I've got uh, my get home bag in my car. A few things I might need. Got some kind of emergency food in case I need that. I've obviously got uh, kind of breakfast, lunch, and a snack to take down to the track with me. I've got uh, level one and level two first aid kits. Uh, in the ride with me also and uh, just most of the things that I kind of carry you know most of my EDC items uh, that I carry you know the regular stuff wallet and concealed weapon and all those types of things but uh, it's always important if you're able to do it even when you're taking a ride to have your things together with you so if something happens you can be prepared you might not obviously be prepared for everything but uh, you can prepare what you can prepare for at least do your part the more you can do yourself the less somebody will have to do for you in the jam in addition to that, I got a jump box in the back in case my battery goes dead or if I need to help out somebody else who might have a dead battery. I can do that. But I'm going to get a little fuel for the car and then we'll head on out. There's a sign. MIS, Michigan International Speedway. I'll come in here and minutes will uh, be parked a little kind of like tailgating site first time I was here I was really just kind of amazed at how much these people are involved actually the guy that lives next door to me he said every year him and some buddies of his come down here and camp the whole week and I can believe that you know, there's a lot of people. They this is their this is their vacation. They come down and they camp here all week long. They tailgate. He said he camps on the infield. Uh, you might can hear the cars. I think they're on the track now. And but a lot of people just camp on the outskirts of the park. They got a lot of campsites. A lot of folks with trailers, fifth wheels, things like that. And uh, our state boys in blue, looking good as always. A lot of sites over here where you can buy shirts, things like that. I might look around, see if I can find a deal. And there's a lot of stuff over in here, which I'll probably show a little bit of in the park, but uh, it's good to be here, try to have a little fun. I gotta remember this, I don't want to get lost. Two aisles, over from 3A, all right there. Well, I'm here, I'm pulling in, walking into the, like, 
perimeter of the park. Probably feel real noisy. Cars, folks selling stuff. We're working here. Series qualifying, which is scheduled at 3:30 Eastern time. 46 cars for 43 positions. The Art Racing for Wildlife 200.
about to leave uh, Michigan International Speedway. The uh, ARCA race is still going on, but uh, I was kind of ready to go. Been there most of the day. Had a good time. People were, uh, people were good. A little too out of control even with uh, drinking beer starting in the morning. But I had a good time and enjoyed myself. I had a Dumped on by rain about 11:30. It's about six quarter after six now, but by 11:30 we got dumped off for about an hour. But uh, it went away and cleared up, and they cleaned, uh, dried off the track, and uh, got the Spring Cup qualifying in, and then they started the. Uh, Arca race. So it was a good time. I uh, enjoyed myself. Uh, when I got rained on earlier, I've been learning how to tie a few knots. Something I never really did before. So my shirt was all wet. So I made kind of improvised clothesline with some paracord I had in my get home bag. And, uh, Two knots I learned re recently: uh, Siberian hitch or a vink knot, and a taut line hitch. And I uh, made a little clothesline with that and dried my shirt out. My top shirt, I had a shirt under it. But uh, for me, that was good, considering I never knew how to tie any specific knots other than tying your shoes, you know, a little bow good for me so still learning them and practicing them my wife asked me yesterday why was I practicing knots while we were sitting watching TV she said she wanted to make sure I wasn't planning on choking anybody which I thought was funny but that's her you know she's funny like that but um, I had a good time today I'm gonna head on home about an hour and a half drive or so Talk to you later. Never quit ever out.